Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video we are gonna build an IoT Geo Web application using MQTT and JavaScript. So the objectives of this project is to gain experience with the MQTT protocol, learn how to build a simple IoT Geo Web application, and turn any smartphone into an IoT sensor. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing that you should do is to head to the link in the description. It's a GitHub page that I built for this project and I explained everything in here and you can, you can read everything. And I'm just gonna go through it once and explain everything. So first you, should, you can see that there is a table of contents and for our introduction uh, you can see the pages that I used in this project and also the link of the live project so uh, in this project there is just only one page and its name its name is index.html and also there is another file called map underline style.js that uses leaflet, leaflet map for our project and shows the final um, map and our location. For the CSS part, I used the Balma for uh, making the website look nicer. And, and also, I, as I explained, there's just a one JS file. So MQTT stands for Message Going Telemetry Transport which is known mostly for IoT applications and IoT networks. And for showing the map, we use leaflet.js, which is a, a leaflet uh, JavaScript library for interactive maps. And it's really popular and most scientists use it. And uh, yeah, so, and also, in this project, it uses jQuery and uh, Paho, which is this one. So let's go to the code. And uh, as you can see, we import everything here. Uh, this is Balma, Leaflet, and then Paho and jQuery. And as we go forward, you can see the functions, JS functions that is that are required for our project, for example, on connection lost, which is when the connection is lost, what we should do about it. On failure, when the connection fails, what happens? Uh, this happens when the connection fails. On connected, unconnect, and all of these are just uh, required uh, functions for MQTT and. Uh, disconnect function as I explained so this is the main function that we are using MQTT connect in here we say that uh, when we have messages how, what to do with them or how, what to do with our host and port and uh, so this one is actually really important use SSL because when we are pushing our code to github it requires this to be true in order to show us our final results and as go as we go forward we can see the subtopics and uh, every other functions out there like send messages <laughs> send location so we are going to show our location based on our uh, uh, chrome or firefox uh, like geo location APIs as I I guess uh, they just uh, enable us to do that to do this so the f next part is our HTML section that is responsible for showing us uh, the buttons the input sections and uh, the functionality of the whole web page and at the final part we use the map style.js so that is this file that is the file responsible for loading the leaflet map 
and for loading the leaflet map uh, we are using some code to show the temperature of the environment and it's just a random number and we don't do much about it we just show the uh, required icons for it for example if the temperature is really low for example negative 10 we show a blue marker for it and if it's high we show a red marker or icon icon for it and this is just some of the code that we need to uh, write to show the uh, proper marker and or, or icon and this is the GeoJSON location that we are gonna send through MQTT and read or send and uh, so yeah this is it I'm gonna go to my page to show what's happening here is my final project in here we need to specify the server or the host and the port so the port is gonna be a 8081 and when we press connect it will connect so here we can see it says connected and we, if we right, like click on disconnect it will disconnect or uh, reconnect again so when disconnects it can be uh, reconnected like this and uh, yeah so we, we need to subscribe to a topic if we need to get messages or write a top write a message and publish it on a topic so in this page we can do both and see the results and i'm gonna do it with my uh, mqtt x application and uh, yeah so at the at the next part it will show the messages here and we can publish our location so if i publish pub, publish location and if i like click on it it will publish my location here and the temperature the lat and long and it will write it here yeah so if it is a random number for our temperature so if I click it again it will generate a random number as I explained it will be blue or red or uh, if it's gonna just I uh, guess just luck yeah so the green one just came along yeah this is the final result I'm just gonna do subscribe subscription and publishing uh, to see the results okay I built the collection in the MQTTX application and I named the test mosquito and the host is test.mosquito.org which we can uh, test our application on and the port is 1883 and let's connect it okay it is connected so now i'm just gonna test uh, one of my subscriptions here and i'm just gonna this is connected and i'm just gonna subscribe to the same topic here okay uh, yeah so it's subscribed to topic sai on the line test and i'm gonna send my information here yeah so as we can see it shows our location it's basically uh, in here that I shared in my MQTTX application it will read this GeoJSON and extract the location and set and show the message right here and if I go down we can see that it shows my uh, location here on the map based on this GeoJSON that I send it. and yeah, so the temperature is also 20 and you can see the temperature here is 20. And if I just change the temperature here, uh, if I go right here and change it to something like 50 and send it again, you can see that temperature change and the color of the icon also changed. So yeah. I'm gonna set, like test my uh, web application with my phone and I'm gonna show you the results uh, to see what happens there. Okay, so I brought my application here and as you can see, they are connected to the same topic and uh, server and host. 
So when I publish my location on my application uh, on my phone, as you can see, it will sh be shown on my uh, application in my browser. So this is what IoT means. And you don't need to code this. I will provide the whole thing in my GitHub. And you can just download it and go through the, the exact same process that I uh, explained and you can have it all. Yeah, so we just built our first IoT application. So congrats. And if you had any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I will be answering them really soon. And yeah, so subscribe and like the channel as usual. I know you do. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time.